In this video, I'm going to show how to operate multiple DHT temperature humidity sensors. Uh, begin by connecting a single sensor to pin D4 of an ESP8266. There's a wiring diagram. Plus 5 volts ground and data to pin D4 from the DHT11. Here's a simple sketch. Begin by including the DHT sensor library. Create a DHT object to, to read the results. It's, call it DHT1. It's on pin D4 and it's a type DHT11 sensor. Set up a serial port. Set up a reading object, DHT1. 2D variables called temperature humidity for that sensor and then print the results. Wait three seconds and before you do it again. And that's how you print the degree symbol. Compile it, upload, and then view the serial port. And there's the DHT11 output reporting its temperature and humidity values. OK, now this time well, I'm adding another sensor, this time a DHT21 to pin D3. It's a much bigger device, but it's about the same as a DHT22 for accuracy. Uh, so we now add another object. Uh, call it anything you like, but I'm calling it DHT2. Tell the library that it's on pin D3, and it's of type DHT21. Create another device reading object, DHT2. Have to be unique, and they have to match all the way through the source code. So I'm going to deliberately copy that variable name there, but I'm not going to change the prefix. So just paste that in there, DHT21. It's a new variable name. I'm going to copy all that printing source code. Rename that to DHT21 and the variables 21 and 21, DHT21 for that device. <clears throat> and then compile and upload that. OK, so you see the results are exactly the same. And the reason is because you have to be very careful to match all of the object types. So that needs to be DHT2 there. Just stressing the point here that everything has to match up throughout the code to get this right. Compile and upload. And there's the two sensors, DHT11 and 22, individually reporting their temperature humidity. This time, now I'm going to add another sensor, DHT22, to pin D2. And we'll repeat the exercise. Create a new object called DHT3. DHT3 is on pin D2, and it's a DHT22 sensor. Another Reading object, DHT3. Set of new variables to hold the readings from the sensor. And change those to DHT22. Change that prefix to DHT3. Copy the source code. So again, I'll put all these programs in the uh, GitHub link below. Update those variable names. Compile and upload. Wait for that to complete. And there you go. Three sensors reporting their individual values. DHT 11, 21 and 22. So you can keep on expanding that until you run out of data pins on the ESP8266. You can go from D0 through to D8. So that's nine sensors. And uh, just keep repeat the wiring connections, um, VCC and ground and data pins. And uh, that's it. That's how you can use multiple DHT sensors on an ESP8266 or Arduino.